We must hurry. We have to inform the people of the castle about the Queen and the Mask. I will see you there later, Rusty. A bientôt. Hey folks, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Swords. I realize it's been a while. I apologize. Anywho, before we proceed on with the plot, we have a bit of equipment stuff to do. First and foremost, we have a fancy fancy new sword to get. So the main way you get swords, as I believe mentioned before, tempering. And once you get to the steel broadsword, you have a choice of three elemental swords. Fire one, lightning one, and the ice one. Ice one is the best. Each one has certain type affinities, but I've never really found that to be very prominent. So if you have the ice crystals, then go ahead and make the frostblade. It's for the best. Yay! And each new sword you get gives you a new master stroke, this time with an elemental affinity. And once you make an elemental sword, he'll put the uh, steel broadsword or whatever it is. What is it? Yeah, steel broadsword into the shop. So you can skip the crappy sword and don't have to temper it and waste money on that. Secondly, we have some stuff to buy. Now this is boring, so I'm just going to show the important stuff. Okay, what we want to buy here is this guy, the Iron Helmet. We could sell a little more and get the Platinum Shield, but it's such a minor increase, I really want the Helmet right now. And I'll be selling some stuff, uh, selling the old helmet, you know, you see that. And one bit of equipment that we already have, don't need to buy, is the dog's body armor, slightly better than the fur coat. And has other uses later on. And that's all for equipment, which means we can just head straight on to the plot, which is refreshingly brief. Unfortunately, we have to walk. All right, Cutlass, what's up? You won't believe this, but His Highness Prince Anglus and Minister Misericord are currently being briefed in the throne room by Florette, of all people. What in the world is going on? Do you know? Colonel Cutlass, we have an emergency. A fearsome beast has been sighted in the waters to the east. Like a shark or what? What? Not more unusual activity. I'd wager something sinister is afoot. Very well. Dispatch troops to the area at once. To battle, fellows! To battle! No need, Colonel. I'll go. Oh, great. We're saved. Unless you think I mightn't be up to it. On the contrary, sir. Nothing would fill me with greater confidence. Then I'd best be on my way. Oh, so this is where you've been hiding, lad. I'm glad I ran into you. I could do with a hand. <laughs> I just had a skinful, and I'm feeling none too steady. Oh, great. We're saved. But you'll prop me up here, lad. <laughs> Actually, joking apart, I could do with a quick lie down before we set out. You get our things together, and I'll meet you outside town. All right? Right over. Well, he does walk pretty well for a drunkard, I'll give him that. So, before we set out, I'm just gonna restock on healing items and whatnot. Again, boring for you, you don't need to see it. So down we go. And over to the ethnic stereotype. And we are good to go. 
just head on outside town. And our... Wait a second. Wait a second. It's the same freaking person. Like, I realize they're stealing models from Dragon Quest VIII, but... Why are you replicating them? Like that. I heard the news. You're off with your father to deal with that monster, aren't you? Righto. I'd better not hold you up with chit chat then. Hey, you better not. I'll kill you. Be careful. They say it's pretty fierce. Yeah, whatever. Oh, my head. Ah, maybe running wasn't so clever after all. Still, it's my own fault. Model the father here. Apparently, the beast was spotted around Sea Cast Sea Cove. We'll head over that way first, all right, lad? Now, I actually have no idea where Sea Cast comes from. I tried googling it. It's apparently not a word. I don't know. This is the cove where they say they saw the beast. It all smells a bit fishy to me. Ugh. And it reeks of monsters, too. I hate your jokes. Let's get in there, lad. Alrighty, Seacast Sea Cove. Last of the uh, kind of tutorialish levels, because it's the last one where you're trying out a new party member. That party member being Claymore, your dad. And according to the Twitter poll that I set up, Claymore is going to be our partner for the rest of the game. So it's basically the beginning of the end. Now, when I did my actual playthrough, personal playthrough, I also used Claymore because Claymore is a freaking badass. So, this will be kind of deja vu for me. Starting off with this linear sequence, gee, in this game, what a surprise. At least it's ambient or something. Anyway, these guys, they're some sort of jellyfish person. They're really easy to hit once they've attacked and been stunned like that, like most enemies in the game. You can also get them on their way up uh, if they're not going to attack, but if they are going to attack it does like no damage. It's better to just wait unless you're going for a speedrun or something. Come on, you stupid Draki. I did actually play some of Dragon Quest VIII uh, at Lyco's house about two months ago, which is almost as long ago as the last episode of this was recorded. So I sort of know the names of some of the guys, but it was two months ago and I only played it for one day, so not really. I might recognize them, but that's about it. Is a dolphin? I don't see any dolphins. Any time now. There you go. So we got weird merman fish monsters. Snap. 3KO, that was pretty badass actually. And it's completely unintentional. Yeah, 
And as usual, I'll try to cut out ones where nothing interesting happens or where there aren't any new enemies. Oh, look, a green one that's somehow different. I have to keep this fight in. Because it shoots fire at you even though it's a water monster. So these guys really don't look like they're within sword range, but I'll roll with it. These guys aren't, you see. They're slightly further back. Ooh, time to show off cold fission. I love this one, because it's really, really easy.